Hey YouTube, Rope Styles here. Um, so I want to apologize again for not making a lot of videos. Um, I've been so busy. I basically go to work and then after work, um, I work out. So I've been working out like almost every day now and I'm trying to stay healthy and really fit. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to lose weight and just trying to tone up, um, especially with summer coming and you know that means going to the beach and stuff. So. Um, yeah, me and my mom are both doing it together, so we're kind of motivating each other, which is really nice. So by the time I get home from work, I come home at like 9, 9.30, and then I work out, and I'm pretty much tired to do anything. Um, you know, take a shower, and, or cook, eat, and then take a shower. So, um, today's my day off, and I had a really good day, because I actually got to relax and just kind of bum around the house. did some laundry, and um, what else did I do? Oh, I watched a couple movies. Um, I watched Hottie and the Naughty, I don't know if you guys have heard of it, it has Paris in it. I don't know, I just felt like watching something funny. It was okay, it was not bad of a story, actually. And then I watched some Filipino movie after. So yeah, that was my day. Hope you guys had a great day also. Um, so this movie, movie, this video is going to be about treatments, hair treatments. So um, yeah, I promised you guys that I would make a video on it. So here it is. And you know, I get a lot of questions about what do I do with my hair, you know, after I color it or how can I repair it, blah, 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 blah. Treatments, guys. Treatments is the key to maintaining your color, um, preventing your hair from any more damage or repairing it. So, you know, shampoo and conditioner is only, it only touches the surface of your hair, the surface of like each strand. Um, deep conditioning treatments, like the ones that I showed you in a previous video, um, this is the Paul Mitchell uh, Super Strong Treatment, and this is the Sebastian Penetrate. So deep conditioning treatments or masks, these are what helps your hair. Um, these actually penetrate the cortex, which is the inside of your hair. And then, you know, from within, it makes your hair look healthier and shinier. So, um, you know, I get questions like, what do I do after I get a chemical surface or after my hair is rebonded and it's really damaged? You gotta repair it right after because as soon as you put color or any type of chemical in your hair, it damages not only the outside of your hair, but the inside. So when you're putting stuff like shampoo and a conditioner after afterwards, yeah, it's touching the surface, but what about the inside? So that's when the treatments come in. So um, today, I just got out of the shower after working out and I kind of towel dry my hair. It's always like take a little bit of the moisture out. So my hair is probably about 50% dry right now, um, but it's still a little bit damp, which is okay, as long as it's not like drenched. Okay, so you towel dry your hair after you wash it. Don't put conditioner in it because there's no um, sense in putting conditioner in it when you're just gonna wash out the treatment anyway. So today I'm gonna show you how you actually do a treatment at home. You can get a treatment done in a salon. Um, you know, if you don't feel comfortable doing it at home or if you don't have time to do it at home or if you're getting your hair cut anyways, you might as well go for, you know, a quick treatment. But um, you have to remember that treatments don't work right away. You're not, you might not notice a difference right off the bat in one shot. So you have to continuously do treatments. Like if your hair's really, really damaged, then I suggest you do it maybe once or twice a week. And then when you notice your hair is starting to feel really healthy or normal, then you can decrease it. But you should still do it regularly on a regular basis, like maybe once every two weeks or once or twice a month or whatever, as long as you do it. So especially when you're coloring your hair, you know, and especially if you're like box dyeing it, box dyeing it is a lot stronger on the hair and a lot more harsh. So I would, I do always recommend treatments to my clients. Very, very, very important. I mean, it's just like um, exfoliating your skin or hydrating, uh, using a hydrating mask or some sort of um, moisturizing mask for your skin. Your skin is made up of protein and so is your hair. So you want to treat your hair the same way. So um, let's get started. So I think today I'm going to start with the Paul Mitchell Super Strong. And on the back, it tells you to leave on for 35 minutes. I always leave on treatments for at least like 20 minutes. Today I'm going to leave it on for about half an hour so that you know that you'll have um, the treatment will have penetrated your hair. So I'm going to use too much. Um, you don't really need a lot and you'll feel that like depending on the treatments that you get, especially the cream ones are very, very thick. Like way like two times thicker than regular conditioner, and you don't need a lot depending on how much hair you have. Like my hair is really fine, so I don't need a lot. So I, I probably just took like a loony size, okay, and you'll feel like it's so thick. So I'm gonna spread that all over my hands. I'm gonna start with the ends because that's where it needs the most concentration on the ends. Okay, and you just run it through. So like, oh, it smells a little good too. And then at the end, you just kind of you know your roots are usually pretty healthy. Like freshly grown hair is pretty healthy, but you still want to concentrate on that. Okay, so I'm putting it all throughout my hair. Okay, and then just to like make sure that it's even, you just want to do like a wide tooth comb, and then just comb the product through. Okay, I'm just gonna get a tiny bit more, just where the ends. You don't want to take like that much more. So take how much you think you need. Just make sure that it's all evenly distributed through the hair. Okay. All right. So now that you've done that, you're gonna need a shower cap. Okay. You can buy these at the dollar store. Um, they're super cheap. You might not Walmart or whatever. So you just tie your hair up, and then you just put it on. Oops. Oh, and then tuck your hair in. Okay, and the reason for the shower cap is because you need the heat to help penetrate the treatment into the hair. So all this heat that's trapped inside the cap will help the treatment go into the hair and help to repair it. And that's it, it's simple as that. And the thing about getting or doing your treatments yourself is you get one tube or one tub or whatever, and you can do so many treatments with just you know one package. But if you do it in the salon, the cost that um, of one treatment in the salon, you can end up just paying um, maybe half of that amount, which is just one tube or one container of treatment and then doing it like multiple times or using it multiple times. So, um, so yeah, I just wanted to do a video just to show you in case you guys didn't already know um, how a treatment is done. And it's just simple as that. It's basically like putting regular conditioner in your hair, only a treatment. Um, and then just putting a shower cap over your head and just waiting about 20 minutes, half an hour, letting that heat circulate in there, make sure all your hair is in there. And so the nice thing about doing it at home, especially if you're a busy mom or you know you have a busy life, you don't have time to go to the salon, um, you, know, you can be doing stuff while this is in your hair. You can be cooking, you can be you know, watching a movie, whatever, whatever you want. Um, so in the salon, you kind of have to stay there, you can't really do much. Um, so yeah, this is something that you can do at home, it's kind of relaxing. And you know, I'm really excited, I haven't tried this um, Paul Mitchell treatment yet, because I usually just do it at work. But you know, it's kind of nice to do it at home too, especially on your day off. And you know, I want to show you guys how to do it. 
So, um, like I said, you're not gonna notice like a huge difference um, the first shot because, you know, just like anything else, things takes time, you know, just like with moisturizers or, you know, face products, it takes time to build up, so you gotta do it regularly. Um, and also remember that um, when buying or going out to buy a treatment, it's always guaranteed um, the real product when it's bought in the salon. Um, and I don't know how well drugstore treatments work, so um, as far as I know, professional products are the way to go. So, I hope this guys helps. Um, so, I'll let you guys know how this worked for me. Um, I'll kind of piece it on after this video. All right, bye! Hey guys, okay, so half an hour has passed and I already washed out the treatment. I didn't put um, a washout conditioner. I put in my Schwarzkopf uh, Time Restore Leave-In Conditioner that I bought in a previous haul. So you can either use one of those washout conditioners like the cream conditioners or you can use a leave-in. I strongly recommend a leave-in, um, especially after a treatment, um, just so it kind of helps with the um, conditioning and repairing of your hair. And I swear, the super strong, the Paul Mitchell super strong treatment with the Swarchkoff, it's an awesome combination. And I thought that I wouldn't really notice a huge difference, but I actually can really tell like how soft my hair feels. And usually when I put a comb into my hair, I can feel like the struggle and like with uh, the tangles, but it totally like detangled my hair and made my hair like so much easier to comb through. So, um, like I said, like you might not feel a difference like right away, but I felt like a little bit of a difference. Not a huge, huge difference, but I feel that it is softer. Okay, and all I did was like air dry it. It was like a comb, and it's not completely dry because when I'm just sitting at home, I just kind of like to let it air dry so that I just don't put too much stress on my hair, especially after this treatment. So I just love the way my hair feels and look it kind of like repaired my ends a little bit too because usually I notice like split ends and stuff and the Q10 smells so freaking good I absolutely love it I think I might like it better than my moisture kick which is this one I keep the empty bottle just because I don't know anyway so um yeah I left it in for half an hour and this is how it is and results are looking pretty good so you know I do mine regularly sometimes not as regular as I should just because how busy I get sometimes but um, I also forgot to mention earlier that when you're looking for a treatment um, make sure that you look for um, there's a couple things to look for like on the back when you're looking at the ingredients look for stuff like um, if it has protein or keratin in it keratin is um protein actually and um stuff like hydroly hydrolyzed silk or um silk in it so um those are the things that will actually um, help to restore your hair so i mean if you don't know what to get then try the paul mitchell or even the sebastian penetrate which I haven't tried yet so um but so far I'm really liking this and I hear like like my coworkers have used it and they love it so I like it um it's a good buy no regrets so um yeah I hope this video helped you guys um if you have any more questions just let me know okay have a good night bye